introduce to Vice President of Planning and Develop Business Development, Nick Poonar. By the way, you wouldn't know he's a magician on the side. It's pretty impressive and perfect place for it. So let's talk the cloud. Obviously a buzzword that we hear way too much these days, but also one that we hear a lot of car manufacturers talking about. What does the cloud mean for in-car connectivity and how is it really relevant to the consumer? Well, the consumer wants great solutions in their vehicles and in their life. And we've done a lot of market research on how does connectivity play a role in this. And what customers are telling us is there's five key areas that matter to them. They, they say, keep me safe. They want crash response, they want theft protection, they want to be safe for them and their families. Keep me driving. Navigation is important, diagnostic is important, the peace of mind of knowing that your vehicle's in tip-top shape. Keep me green is emerging, where people want eco-friendly capabilities, including routing and other things. Energy efficiency. Keep me communicating safely, which is hands-free calling, good connectivity. Um, and also keep me entertained, which is videos and, and music and streaming content and games. Now I'd like to focus on just one of those, which is the keep me driving one, specifically in vehicle diagnostics as an example. Now as Jim and Linda have both mentioned, our customers want to have access uh, to their data in multiple channels. So today we make vehicle diagnostic information available to them on their smartphones from an advisor in their vehicle from a button press, on the web and from the emails that your vehicle sent to them. So we need to be able to become almost device agnostic by hosting all of our services in the OnStar Adams cloud. And making services outside of the car is something that you made available last year at, here at CES. You showcased the OnStar Remote Link mobile app and also MyLink. Give us the latest updates and developments on those. Well, as you know, you know, growing availability of smartphones, as you mentioned earlier, um, is really important uh, in the marketplace. And we want to stay ahead of this curve. And that's why, actually, we developed the remote link in the first place. But if you look at the numbers, the usage, um, we have now over 250,000 customers that, have, that are using our application. They have done more than 7 million interactions. And this is just in the last 12 months. What's important is that this application works seamlessly in their life. Um, customers want to choose how they interact with their technology and we're making it easy and flexible for them. Now, Remote Link offers a number of core OnStar features, uh, like navigation, diagnostics, remote features, unlocking your car door, locking it at the airport in case you forgot, remote starting in cold weather. These are just some of the things that you can do with your phone in real time when you need it. So that's one application. Plans for more? Yeah, we are. Um, you know, if you look at the projections of apps um, on the Android and the iOS platforms, you know, by mid-2012, uh, we're going to expect to see about one and a half million apps available for customers. Now, where are all these apps coming from? Well, you know, we're expecting to see more growth. Now, this is actually double what it was this past summer. So the explosion of capabilities is pretty, pretty impressive. Now, developers actually understand and reflect the needs of customers, and customers speak out and they tell developers what they want, and this is a nice relationship that generates all this creativity. And developers use the Android and the iOS apps, and the benefit here is that the market develops the apps, the customers tell us what they want, and, and we have this kind of um, creativity that comes from it. Now, we've been working on a number of targeted API projects. Uh, we've shown API-based solutions in the past with our Facebook audio updates clients. We've also worked with Google for a fleet management tool that they're using to keep track of the energy consumption of their Chevy Volts that they have on campus. And I'm excited to make a new announcement today. Uh, we're actually looking for the next big set of big and exciting meaningful apps. We're prepared. We're prepared to take a next big step to encourage the development of these great apps. During the first half of 2012, we we're going to make our OnStar proprietary APIs um, open and available for, for third-party developers to work with us. Now, this is a wonderful opportunity for the creation of a lot of value-added apps for our customers. And we're going to be giving these developers secure access to our OnStar Atoms cloud with the vehicle-centric information such as location, diagnostics, other remote capabilities and controls. And it's a pretty exciting time. And so let me just bring this back for a second. So what you're saying basically is we may see a whole new set of OnStar features and services made by third-party developers. That's right. So we're looking for third-party services that benefit our customers in new and exciting ways. And these are solutions that are going to build upon the connectivity that OnStar services capabilities provide for them now. Excellent. And you already mentioned that you have your first third-party app. We have a demo. 